was my version of Stormy Monday by T-Bone Walker. I based it mostly on the Allman Brothers version, however, because they had some really cool chords in it. Um, I'll show you how to play those chords today. Not going to discuss chord theory or anything, but I will show you where they are and what their names are. So we're going to start with the turnaround that begins the song. That starts at G7, which is open, on low string, three on the middle, four on the high. Then we're going to do F sharp diminished, which is two, four, five on the high. And then back to G7. Then we're going to do a D augmented chord. So we're going to go up here to the seventh fret where D is and it's an augmented chord. We're going to play it like an arpeggio at first. So it's the one, three, the sharp five. Five would be here normally. And that's what makes it an augmented chord, by the way. The augmented five means sharp five. If you can do this, that would be great. That's also how T-Bone Walker starts it. And this is something you can use from any five chord to go back to the one chord. See, it sounds kind of crappy, hanging by itself. But as soon as you go back to the one, it's like, oh, yeah, that was cool. So, anyway, I'll play that for you. So that's your intro. Then we get into the basic riff of the song, which is based on G7. So we're back down here for G7, first finger, and little finger right there. Now, I see my third finger's here gonna need that. So we start off with two open G's and we hit the three and the five and then the one's kind of like a bar, my first finger is kind of like a bar on the third fret. And this is a handy lick to get because it actually happens in a lot of songs. So that makes G seventh chord and just to fill in the time what we do is go thumb and two fingers lightly afterwards, so in time to the song. This is a quick change blues, so we immediately go to the four chord, which is on the fifth fret. It's a C chord, and we're going to play it. It's going to seem a little weird at first, but it works out great. Second finger on the low string, middle finger on the middle string, little finger on the high string, all on the uh, fifth fret and first finger on the third fret of the first string. And you go, well, why? There's already got a finger on that. But what happens is you go five, five, five. Then you lift your little finger up and you play the middle and first string. That makes a C7 chord. Which is another cool thing to get good at. So, and then you do the same thing, sort of fill the rhythm thumb fingers. So I'll play those two chords, first two full measures of the song. Like that. Then we go back to the first thing we did, G7. Then we do a climb up to the four chord. Climb from zero on the low string. Other two strings open, play them with your first and second fingers. So zero, two, three, four. So I'll do that one more time. So basically that's two measures of G. Now we're going to go to the four chord. Same way we did before. That light fill. Then we're going to do that again. So it becomes two measures of C. And then we're into some more fancy chords. We go to G7, but now we're going to do it as an arpeggio. And you might notice I use two different fingers there. That's because I know that I'm going to need my first finger here. So that's a G7. Then it goes to A minor 7th. Then B minor 7th, two frets higher. And then B, just a major chord. Now that might be hard. If you can't do that, you can do it as a minor seventh. Right? But 
that's the one that sounds best. So I'll do that climb again for you, G7, A minor 7th, B minor 7th, and then B flat, major. And now we go down to A. So that run, the same thing as before, thumb and then your two fingers, except for the last note. So that's two, four, five, and then the last note is the second fret of the middle string, so you just hit the high string. And then you zip up fifth fret for the four and do the same thing. Okay, I'll do that slow again. And then we're into a standard turnaround, you probably already know. Open G, low string, then three on the middle, and a zero on the high string. So three, zero, three, two, zero, two, one, zero, one, G chord. Run up to D. You can play the chord here, and you can play the augmented run. Now, if you can, you can hold it like that, too. Some people like that better, jazzier, or... And then I usually end it on a G7 chord. I know it's a bit of a challenging song, but when you get through this, uh, it's great, great song to play, wonderful song to play, and it really opens a lot of doors because you're going to find most stuff pretty easy compared to this. Hope it worked for you. Have a great day.